The following piece you're not going to hear in shul, at least in our shul, because um, this particular piece of liturgy, many congregations omit. It's a very, very old piyut poem, unknown author, that appears already in Sidur Rav Amram Gaon. Rav Amram Gaon already passed away in the year 872. Um, however, already from the time of the Rishonim, it was very, very controversial, and there's a tr tremendous debate whether to recite that piyut or not. Why? Because in this particular poem, we approach, we address, not humans, not HaKadosh Baruch Hu, but rather the angels. According to a different interpretation, we approach or we ask, we address the tzaddikim like Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. In any event, this is something that is very, very unusual because even though we believe in Zchut Avot, in the merit of our forefathers or in those heavenly beings and the angels and all that kind of stuff, the heavenly figures, we always very, very careful that our tefillah, our prayer, is always addressed directly to God. God is the recipient. It's a theological principle that God's, God's door is always open. Everybody has Hashem's ear and there's no need for mediators. So we're not going to recite that, but this beautiful melody um, was written by uh, Rav Chaim Banet, and this song became a huge hit, uh, recorded many times, etc. So, without further ado, Machnisei Rachamim. <laughs> Hello. 
One hit to uh, another one, but very, very, very different. The next piece is Avinu Malkeinu. It's a tefillah that we actually do say in Beit HaKnesset. Nonetheless, this particular melody was written by Max Janowski, who was a composer, conductor, and a teacher of Jewish music. He was born in Berlin in 1912 and um, immigrated to the United States in 1937 and he worked in, for many many congregations and also wrote um, music, uh, Jewish music for uh, not for the liturgy <clears throat> like theaters etc and he had a tremendous influence on the music of the synagogues especially the reformed temples and uh, he wrote some masterpieces, one of them, Sim Shalom, we sang in one of the previous um, concerts. Um, but today I will sing uh, probably the most famous piece that he ever wrote, Avinu Malkeinu. That particular piece became so famous because of the rendition and the recording of Barbara Streisand. Um, and of course, since then, it became a hit um, we do not say it, we do not uh, sing it, or at least I can't sing it in the shul <coughs> for uh, 
very interesting reason because the order of the lines of Avinu Malkeinu as they appear in uh, the piece which, is, which follows the reform uh, prayer book does not, match, does not match the order of the lines that we have in the traditional prayer book. So in order, so it's either you recite the text the way it's in the Machzor, or you can sing it the way it's written um, in the music, and therefore it's not going to work. Nonetheless, it's a phenomenal uh, piece for a concert. <clears throat> Avinu Malkeinu by Max Janowski, written for a cantor, mixed choir, and organ. But today, the mixed choir and the organ are going to be played by none other, <laughs> none other than Roger Green. <laughs> <clears throat> Stop. I need to. <coughs> 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 <coughs>